Uh, JP Morgan out with a note saying the market could push up 7% next week due to the Russell 1000 rebalancing and a few other factors. I'm just going to go around the horn one time. Jim, do you see a 7% jump in the markets next week? <laughs> Well, I, I think it's hard to make a call like that. And as bold as I am on many calls, I'm not going to make that call, Frank. Um, look, I, I think, as I said earlier, the question is out. Is this a bear market rally or the start of a bull? And we just don't have the evidence. We're not going to have it in the next week. Can we go higher from here? Yeah, because it's probably likely that over the weekend, some people will look at today's rally and say, yeah, maybe we were too pessimistic and pessimistic and jump in. But 7% in a week, I mean, anybody who's going to make that call, I, that's a hard call to make. JP Moore. Morgan made it. Uh, Amy, I'm going to come over to you. Any boldness on your side? I know, not 7% in a week. I'm not going to make that call either. But I do think this can continue um, for a little bit longer. That said, we're going to be in pre announcement season pretty soon. And my guess is that the pre announcements are going to be more vigorous in Q2 than they have been in the past. So, um, it's going to be it's going to be a bumpy ride. In all fairness, it was up to 7%. I want to make sure I'm quoting it correctly. <laughs> um, John, I'm going to come over to you. You're nodding once again. Yeah, I, uh, I think the, the other panelists are correct that we are likely to top out until we get the inputs that Jim suggests. Um, that doesn't mean, I think, that we're going to pull all the way back down, because unless the Fed really comes out and pounds the table for those significantly higher rates forever into the future, Frank, um, mm -hmm. I do think they take a pause in September. So I think between now and those updates uh, to outlooks that Amy just spoke of, that and the CPI, I think we're going to see a sideways market, not a 7% rally next week. All right, Weiss, we're giving you last word very quickly. Yeah, look, if you haven't uh, been listening to the analysts, and I'm guessing this is one of the analysts of strategies said, buy every dip that's happened, all thousand dips in the last year, then now's a good time to start ignoring them. This is just a headline grabbing uh, you know, event. The analyst strategist wants to get some attention, ignore it, keep your own counsel, and play right. it safe.